So this question says if angle LHK, so LHK would be LHK, that angle, is congruent to LQN, LQN, that angle. It's saying that those are con uh, equivalent. What can we say? Which of these things can we say, A, B, C, or D? So what does that tell us? Well, first of all, it's this line is the transversal. That line is the transversal. And the other lines, I'll draw these in in a different color. These lines are what we're going to say are parallel. So we know that lines, um, I think this is line E. Let's see, what line is that? I can't see if I, maybe I took, oh, that's line G. Yeah, that's line G. So this is line G right here. So notice that we're going to be able to say that these two lines, G and C and G, are parallel to each other. So it's not A and B. Those are not true because you can see the red transversal that goes through those two lines, G and C. Now what's the reason for it? Well, what are these angles right here? How are those two angles, those two red angles that I drew in there, related to each other? Are those alternate interior or corresponding? They're both on the same side of that transversal, so they're not alternate, and they are what are called corresponding. So um, actually, the, I changed the quiz. One of these should say, this should say corresponding right here. Corresponding. So the answer is B. Those are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Now, if they had given you, if they had given you this line, this angle over here, let's say they gave you this angle and this angle, those would be called what? In relationship to each other. Those would be called all alternate interior because they're on the inside and they're alternating. See how they're on the inside of those two black parallel lines, those two lines that the transversal is going through, and that they're alternating. One's on, one is on one side of the red line, one's on the other, and they're both on the inside or the interior of those two black lines. So those are those.